This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 139. Do you secretly sabotage healthy new habits? By Mary Yuksh of goodlifezen.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. going on, old friends? Welcome to Optimal Living Daily. I'm Justin Mollick, the cat whisperer. Not really, but I do feel like I understand them pretty well. Today, I have a post from Good Life Zen about habits, but before I read it to you, we are now just three days away from a book giveaway, and all you need to do to be entered into the drawing is to be on my mailing list. You can join at oldpodcast.com, or if you're fast at texting, you can text the word OPTIMAL to the number 44222, and join that way too. You gotta join before Sunday though if you wanna be entered to win a book by The Minimalists. So once again, text OPTIMAL to 44222 to join or visit oldpodcast.com and then you'll be in and you get a bunch of free stuff from me too. And that's it. Let's start optimizing your life. Do you secretly sabotage healthy new habits? By Mary Yuksh of goodlifezen.com. Starting a habit can be a struggle. It can feel like pushing water uphill because there's an inbuilt inertia within all of us that resists change, even if we know it's good for us. But it's not only inertia we struggle with when we develop new habits. We often secretly sabotage our attempts to implement new healthy habits. The sabotage is secret because it's often subconscious. The good news is that once you bring the sabotage out into the open, you can let go of unskillful thoughts and start supporting your new habits. The way we tend to sabotage new habits is through habitual thought patterns that disrupt our efforts. Here are five kinds of unskillful thoughts that tend to sabotage creating new habits, as well as ways to reframe thoughts so that they support change. Number one, it won't work. Whenever we attempt something new, there is doubt in the mind. We wonder, can I do it? And not only do we experience doubt, fear also creeps in. Fear makes the mind think in terms of black and white, so we tend to think of winning or failing and don't consider incremental change. It won't work is a message that closes off all possibility of change. Reframe the thought to, I'll learn something new. Number two, it's too late. There are a lot of variations of this thought. It could be, I'm too old, or I'm too weak, or I'm too sick, or I've missed my chance, and so on. For example, quite a few people emailed me to ask if it's now too late to take part in the 8-week fitness challenge. Of course it's not too late. You can join at any time and just make it a 7-week, 5-week, or 1-week challenge. It's never too late to change. Every moment is a new opportunity to live life differently. Reframe the thought, I'll give it a try. Number 3, I'm a fill-in-the-blank, so I just can't do it. This is a thought pattern we all fall into, often without noticing it. It has to do with ingrained judgments about ourselves. For example, in the comments to want to be fit or even ultra fit, one person called himself a couch potato. That kind of negative labeling undercuts all efforts to change. I fall into this trap too. I recently noticed that I tend to say to people, I'm not really a runner, despite the fact that I've done three uphill runs this week. Actually, a runner is someone who runs, even if it is only for 30 seconds at a time. Reframe the thought, I can learn to do it. Number four, I'll do it another time. I'm sure we all know this one. It's a great way to evade a challenge. I'm too busy right now, or I'll do it next year. These are ways our mind sabotages the opportunity to change. In fact, there is only right now. Reframe the thought, now would be a good time to start. Number five, I've failed, so I'll give up now. In every attempt to engender a new habit, there are moments when we fail. For example, if you want to get fitter or lose weight, At some stage, you'll succumb to a slice of chocolate cake or watch TV instead of going for an evening walk. The key is to get back on track without a backward glance. Because what really saps energy is if you beat yourself up about a moment of weakness. Reframe the thought, to get back on track, my next step is... How to train the mind. Number one, become aware of your thoughts. Remember that you are in charge of your mind. You have the choice to use unskillful or skillful thoughts. A simple way to train the mind is to wear a rubber band or elastic bracelet on your wrist. Every time you notice an unskillful thought, change the elastic band over to the other wrist. Number two, be kind to yourself. You will fare best if you are kind but firm with yourself. It's like being your own loving parent. Encourage yourself when the going gets tough with 
you can do it or just a little bit more. Number three, treat change as an experiment. If you treat the development of new habits as an experiment, everything is of interest, including your little failures or your unskillful thoughts. Number four, start a change journal that documents your path. Include your thoughts, emotions, insights, and observations. The process of journaling will help you to see the big picture of your journey of change. Number five, use the spirit of adventure. An adventure is a journey into the unknown. If you remind yourself that change is an adventure, you'll be more likely to ride difficulties and still stay on track. Number six, join a group of like-minded people. The eight-week fitness challenge has taught me the value of being accountable not only to myself, but also to others who have the same aspiration. I think everyone who has joined the challenge and has posted on the forum feels inspired and strengthened by the supportive presence of others. When you start noticing your mind's attempt to sabotage the change you long for, you'll find that negative thoughts crumble away once they are bathed in the clear light of awareness. In time, you'll be able to retrain your mind in order to support and enhance change. The more you use skillful instead of unskillful thoughts, the more you'll forge new positive pathways in your brain. Please use the suggestions above in a spirit of experiment. You just listened to the post titled, Do You Secretly Sabotage Healthy New Habits? by Mary Yuksh of goodlifezen.com. And I like that idea of wearing a bracelet and changing it to the other wrist when you notice a specific thought. That's very tied to meditation, and it's kind of like another way to meditate without actually practicing sitting meditation. And I love practices like those. It's like meditation training. And I know Tim Ferriss has actually talked about that bracelet method for other things like catching yourself complaining and stuff like that. And one last time, I'm giving away a book in just three days to a random email subscriber. So to be entered, you can visit oldpodcast.com or the fastest way is to text the word optimal to the number 44222. And when you join my weekly email list, you'll be entered to win every single month. Plus, you'll get a bunch of gifts from me, one of which is a money tracking spreadsheet that comes with a video tutorial I made to go along with it. And I think that does it. Tomorrow's finally Friday. So hang in there and I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.